What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today, we're gonna talk about the top three reasons why women ghost you. So ghosting is a huge problem in today's dating age. With phones, cell phones, social media, ghosting has pretty much become the norm for how people tell someone that they don't wanna see them again. <laughs> and they don't tell them, they just uh, don't interact with them, okay? So usually what happens with ghosting is that at first, she found you attractive. At first, she liked you. At first, she was talking to you, responding to you, excited to see you. But then the messages slowly stop coming in. They take longer and longer to come and then eventually they stop coming at all. So what is going on here? Why did she stop doing this? Okay, I could make this video, you know, an hour long telling all the reasons why a woman is gonna ghost you. We could go in depth in each one, but these are the top three that I've seen and usually it's one form of this or the other that gets women to stop responding to your messages. Thing number one is you started acting really needy or she just encountered neediness from you. Basically, when a woman encounters neediness, nothing is going to repel her faster than you doing this. Why is neediness one of the most unattractive things a guy can do? Because as a woman, she needs a guy that can help her take care of a child. If you're the needy one in a relationship, she's got to take care of two children. <laughs> Nobody wants that. That's a horrible situation for anybody to be in, okay? And although she's not always thinking about having kids, biologically in her mind, that's what's kind of happening, okay? Women do not like neediness in any shape or form. They don't even want it for a guy that they're just trying to hook up with, okay? But if you did hook up with her and then you start start showing neediness, expect her to not want to hook up with you again. Thing two is going to be not showing enough interest. If you show too little interest in a woman, she's gonna think you're not interested in her and she's gonna go for a guy who is showing you more interest. Now, a lot of times guys mistakenly think that they have to just not show any neediness and that will take care of the problem. No, you also have to show some interest as well too. Just ignoring her or just being so aloof or just acting like kind of a douchebag is probably going to repel her, uh, Not maybe not as fast as neediness will, but it definitely will repel her. She's gonna say, this guy's not really into me, and maybe another guy's showing her more interest. She's gonna go for that guy, okay? So if you're not showing enough interest with her, ask yourself what you can do to start doing that in a non-needy way. Showing interest in a non-needy way is inviting her to do cool things with you. You know, actually asking her about her day and showing interest in what she's doing. Those kinds of things. If you're doing that, then she's gonna know that you're interested in her. But if you completely ignore her messages, you don't talk to her at all, and you think that you're doing the right thing because you're not being needy, well, then chances are you're probably going to lose her. Obviously, showing too much interest and being way too into her too quickly can also repel women and that's actually a form of neediness, but showing too little of it is just as bad as well too. Okay, thing three is going to be she found someone better, okay? Typically, if some guy is not violating the first two rules, this third thing can sometimes happen. It's not as common as the first two, believe it or not. I find that with women, yes, she's probably talking to multiple guys, uh, especially at the beginning, but usually if there's a guy that's better for her, or if there's a guy that's good for her, she's gonna give that guy a chance. But if there's a guy that's better for her, then she's probably gonna go with those guys. And a lot of times, it's not always something that you have control over. You know, I've had women ghost me for that reason in the past too. Um, not recently, but basically there was this one situation that I had with a girl I remember uh, way back in the day. We were talking for a while and what started to happen was I started to notice that she stopped responding to my messages and it was going really well and I was like, I don't really know, understand what the problem was. And it was because she had started seeing another dude and I knew she was seeing another dude and I asked her about it and she was like, yeah, I, you know, that's why I didn't respond to a couple of your calls because I started uh, dating another guy and they're basically like boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, the problem that I couldn't control was that she lived in another country, you know, and uh, this was actually during, I think, the start of COVID, you know, not much I can do there. <laughs> if I'm not next to her and she's not by me, that's a better option for her. So a lot of times it might not even be your fault, okay? So it's important to not blame yourself for everything. And if you, if a go girl ghosts you, don't beat yourself up too much about it. You know, there might be a better option for her. And honestly, you should want people to choose the people that are the best for them. Um, if she was better for somebody else, then she wasn't the best thing for you, dude. And as a high value man, understanding that is gonna make you a lot more confident and just improve your interactions with women in general. You're not gonna be as tied to the result as much as some of the needy guys or some of the guys who uh, are too much of an asshole are tied to, and that will free you up to actually be yourself and just have a better dating life overall. So hopefully you've seen from these three things, there's one commonality between all of them, and that's basically if something changes. When you attract somebody at the beginning and she's into you, but then you start acting needy, 
well, something changed. You're not that same guy that she was attracted to or that she thought she was attracted to at the beginning. And if you're not showing enough interest, then she thought you were someone, maybe you guys were texting on a dating app or something like that and you're asking her out and you're doing all of those things and you're texting her because you want to get her out. But then you stop showing that level of interest and then she starts uh, you know, expecting you to do that and, and, and you're not doing that anymore, okay? Well, then something changed. Then if another guy comes into the picture and she's a, he's a better option for her, well, that's something that also changed as well too okay that's the main reason why ghosting happens and something changed so basically if you act consistently you have a much more better chance of keeping those girls around and like I said you can do everything right and still get ghosted and that's okay but for the most part for me in my life and my uh, the way I conduct dating um, I rarely get ghosted I'm pretty open and honest with people and hopefully this trend of ghosting uh, as you get older and as you get more responsible and mature you can handle things in a little bit better of a way uh, but if it happens to you, don't beat yourself up, dude. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and you'll find someone who doesn't do that too. All right, thanks you guys. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in getting personally coached by me, there's a form down below. I got a new program coming out, uh, and there's also some digital products that I have as well too that will really help you out and get girls that are above your mate value. Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck out there.